All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakakwadas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. The title of this video is A Man Should Be a Provider. Okay? And that's not just talking about from off of a financial standpoint, but off of everything okay in every aspect when it comes down to this truth okay a man is supposed to teach his woman how um you know what the scriptures say uh, uh as far as what a woman is supposed to do or you know um certain other aspects because that's what the scriptures say okay but a man is supposed to be a provider okay or or a leader or a ruler in this society it teaches the opposite that men and women are equal okay but that's not how the Lord set up things from the very beginning okay this is Genesis 3 and 16 it says unto the woman he said I will greatly root multiply your sorrow and your conception it says and sorrow Thou shalt bring forth children, okay? And um, this sorrow is also one of the reasons why women are um, extremely emotional, okay? Extremely emotional, okay? So, um, compared to men, it says, And your desire shall be to your, to your husband, and he shall rule over you. Okay, so a man is supposed to rule over his woman, okay? Which that means to exercise dominion, my, my, my soul, okay? To exercise dominion, to cause the rule to have power over, okay? So that was what the Lord intended for a man to rule and for the woman to, to have that desire onto their husband, okay? Because that's the proper order of things, okay? Which the desire is longing or craving for, okay? These women out here don't desire their men. And a lot of these men, you know, put it on the table, they ain't shit either, okay? But ultimately, a man is supposed to have himself together, okay? And spiritually, Okay, maybe <laughs> especially before you try to get with a woman, are you gonna get with a try to get with a woman and you ain't even got yourself self together spiritually? Where you gonna where you gonna lead that woman at? You know, in the, in the ditch basically. Okay, but we don't get into a man and 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 um his affairs with another woman in in uh in Great Millstone. We don't do that. Okay, as long as that woman isn't or doesn't belong to another man okay if you if you if you don't have a man okay you basically need to get with one of the brothers okay and and they'll show you how it's done we don't force you to, to go get with no no uh brother okay but this is um first corinthians 11 and 3 but i would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shah. And the head of the woman is the man. So the woman is so the woman is supposed to be in, in subjection under the man. Okay? And the head of Yahweh Shah is Yahweh. Okay? So the 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 Yahweh is the most high and he rules over Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah rules over the men and the men are supposed to rule over uh, the woman okay it's the proper order a man is supposed to provide for his woman okay and and that man is supposed to know and 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 you know follow the example of what Yahweh Shah said for a man to do okay in this scripture Ephesians 5 and 22 it says wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord Okay, especially if, if that man 
is um you know whether whatever whatever he he does okay you need to to, to to be with that man until death okay that's how the Lord set it up you need to submit yourself onto that man okay and, and have faith it says for the husband is the head of the wife even as how is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body okay so just in case you want to sit up there and think that you know that scripture ain't talking about a, 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 a man being over the woman the scripture says the husband is the head of the wife okay the man is supposed to provide for the woman okay so so us as men we have to we have to have ourselves together okay you ain't supposed to be uh having a woman maintain you okay this is uh first timothy five and eight but if any provide not for his own his own family his children or woman or whatever your own self and especially for they for those of his own house he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Okay? The word infidel. Strong's G571. Apistos. Apistos. It says unfaithful, faithless, not to be trusted, incredible of things. Unbelieving and incredulous, without trust in Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Okay, it says that this man who's providing not for his own, he he's worse than than somebody that doesn't believe. Okay, you're denying the faith, cause that's what the fuck a man's supposed to do, man. He's supposed to provide for it for his own. Okay. This is um First Peter three and six. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, so Sarah called Abraham her Lord. If a man is providing you, that's your Lord. Okay? The word word Lord. Okay. Strong's G twenty nine sixty two. Kurios. Kurios. And that means he to whom a person or things belong. So you belong unto that man. Okay. About which he has power of deciding. Master or Lord. Okay. And the scripture said that a man shall rule over the woman. Okay. So that man is supposed to be that Lord to that woman, man. Okay. It says the possessor and disposer of a thing. The owner. One who has the control of the person. The master. So Sarah called Abraham her master, okay? She put herself in control of, of Abraham. It wasn't no woman trying to, you know, control the man, okay? Like how you see uh, people doing nowadays. It says, whose daughters you are, as long as you do well and are not afraid with any amazement, okay? So so if you're a woman and you claim to be, you know, a, a, a follower then you need to realize that that man that you're with, you know, if you have a man, then that, that's supposed to be your man. And you're not even supposed to be looking at this video, to be honest. You know, you need to be looking at that man's video, you know, his videos or whatever the case may be, and learning from him. Because that man is supposed to be the provider. Okay? So that's a part of doing well. It says, likewise, you husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. So, so you might be in the truth, okay, or you more than likely you are. You know, if you going by, you know, the name your how about some y'all side, you out there on the highway and has this teaching, okay, the, the 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 true doctrine, okay, in the right spirit, then you know that if if you're a provider, that your woman ain't gonna really be knowing as much as is is we know okay through the spirit so we have to dwell with them according to knowledge because we know that these women are going to be going off and 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 it's up to us to to teach the woman what we want them to know 
It says giving honor unto the wife is unto the weaker vessel because we know that the woman, as the scriptures say, that there's sorrow in their conception. Okay? They emotional. And that and they supposed to have that desire unto us. But the society teaches them otherwise. It says, and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered. I said this is uh Titus two and uh no, let's start at five. It says this is going to the young woman, you know, of that you know that that aren't um widows, okay. The young woman, you know, they have to be discreet, which is you know proper discernment, chaste, keepers at home, okay. But this society, it makes women think that they supposed to, you know, go half on the rent and stuff like that. And it's like, well, if you're going, if y'all both going half on rent, that 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 shows that like if y'all was to have a child, that um, it would be that much harder to 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 have somebody to watch the child. The women are really supposed to be at home and and um, and taking care of the children. That's how things was, but in this society, it it makes people think otherwise. So so women are supposed to be the keepers at home and supposed to be helping us as men, okay, in the areas that we uh we may need help. And I ain't to say that a woman um can't um have some type of work. Cause women women have needs too. You don't want to I wouldn't want a woman to, to, to just be at home. You know, with that idle time and stuff like that. All, all the damn time. You know. But a woman really supposed to be keeping at home. And, and making sure that the house is good. And that her man is, is fed. The children are are, 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 um, are good. The house is clean. But, but. These people, you know, these in this day, man, if you're trying to do this type of stuff, these women don't have this mentality, man. Okay? First off, they not, they're not discreet. They don't have the, the discernment. Okay? You know that saying, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Okay? It says, good, obedient to their own husbands. So a woman is supposed to shut up and listen to us, man. Okay? If you can't, if you can't respect, and this is what I say, if you can't respect me, is being a leader or the or the head, then you don't need to be dealing with me. You need to go somewhere else. I'm not gonna lose any sleep. You know? It says that the word of Yahweh Yahshua be not blasphemed. Okay? This is Exodus 21 and 10. If he take him another wife, and this is what, what a man is supposed to do, her food, feed her, her raiment, clothes. And her duty of marriage, okay, the woman actually doing right by her husband, he so not so he not diminish. So we as men we have to we have to provide these things onto to the woman. Okay? And this is these are the things that more often than not, when you simplify stuff, that women ultimately just want. They 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 want food. They want um, physical attention and um, shelter. Okay? It says, And if he do not these, th these three onto her, then she shall go out free without money. So it's like, if you don't want to provide for that woman, okay, and you don't, you don't want to give that woman a duty of marriage, then you... you you really shouldn't be trying to hold on to that woman if you ain't if you ain't trying to do these things onto onto that woman. Okay? But it's up to us as men to provide. Now you got women out here that, you know, they like I said, they don't want to do these things. So you just let them go. But if a woman is doing these things, then you need to you need to to make sure that you you are uh, providing for her. Okay, and if you're not providing for it, then that woman you know, you 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 basically if she's not doing these things, you let her go, man. 
you know, and, and, and just move on. Especially in these these days, these women don't want to, um, they stiff-necked, okay? they too emotional. They Esau got them, okay? But if the, the women want to do these things to you and you're not doing it, then, then how are you going to, you know, you can't, you can't, you got this, the scripture saying if you do not these things, three things onto her, then she shall go out free without money. Now, um, when a woman, <laughs> when a woman divorces a man in this society, she, she, she leaves with money. Okay. But the scriptures say, if a man don't, don't do these things, then she should go out free with, without money. Okay. So a woman really supposed to not, not have anything when she leave out. Okay. So a man is supposed to provide, okay, provide everything. Now I'm going to get this, um, 1 Corinthians 14 and 35. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, okay? Because why? Because a woman is supposed to be a keeper at home, and that husband is supposed to, to, to teach that woman. We here at Great Millstone, we're not in the spirit of teaching other men's women, okay? Because we believe that that man is supposed to be a provider, okay? And 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 um, that's what we 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 teach, and that's what we push, okay? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.